the you guys are staying down in Colorado till the semester starts again, eh? You're gonna be down there for a um, few. yeah. Like I don't know. There's there's a lot of people down here and kind of all like coming and going at different times. But um, like my plan keeps kind of changing. Like first my parents were like, oh yeah, like it's kind of bad now. We kind of want you to go home. And then I was like, uh, well, I think like it'd be kind of bad if I came home because I had to have to like quarantine and stuff. And so like, um, and it's a lot easier to take classes here as well because of like the yeah. time zone. Um, so like kind of staying here at least until like through exams and then like kind of recess. Is, is, it, is it busy down there with runners? Like is, is there a lot of um, there's like a lot of runners in Boulder, but like we haven't seen like a ton of people. Like once a week, we'll see like a couple of the Tin Man or like some professional, like Kamikoba and whatever, out running. But like, um, yeah, it's been pretty pretty quiet. Just kind of people like walking around outside, just like enjoying the outdoors, trying to like distance and like, yeah, I don't know. It gets a little tough on like those tight trails. Um, we've had a couple of people like yell at us like six feet. It's like, well, you're walking on like a five foot trail, so I don't know what you want us to do, but like yeah. it's been like that around Come on Point, Max and uh, yeah, I Yeah, uh, we've had ladies stick their arms out like airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> but um we got told that's just, that's just a huge smell, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so it's it's interesting, eh? But so what are you guys all doing with training? What's the plan going forward? you guys just going to get back to base or build up slowly or is there anything? Um, I guess like I kind of taking it like pretty easy in terms of like workouts and stuff at the moment. But um, like ideally, I guess I'd still have like some sort of an outdoor season if that's just a time trial or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just like taking it pretty easy day by day at the moment. Um, Still doing like strides and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing because everything's up in the air. Because if you guys could, if you guys could. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not at the moment, so. Yeah. I'm going to be building up. Like, I just took my break early. Um, I mean, I, I've already chatted to you about this, I guess, but like, I took my break early just because I was just feeling beat up after the indoor season. Um, so, like, now is the best time than ever, better time than ever uh, to take a break, I feel like. So um took my break now and then just like a slow build up. Yeah. Um for the for the next yeah. few months or whatever. Yeah. God I, God knows how, however long. Because you guys all ran super quick over three K this year for the indoor season. <laughs> uh, no Connor ran quicker than me. <laughs> I got I got pretty lucky with uh, just just dipping under getting that BU magic and then I actually got hurt right after that so I've just been building up for training and stuff so slowly getting there like sitting around forty miles a week but just just happy to just happy to be back out there you know so yeah not too bad. What do you guys put the season down to? All your success lately? Training or consistency or consistency definitely yeah. I mean, for me at least, um, I've just been been through the ringer. I'm like, I've had like a year of consistent training and cross country definitely wasn't what I wanted, but I was able to train through all the way through till indoors. And I feel like that definitely helps a lot. Gives you that like base that you always have. Um, so yeah, that, that was definitely, that was definitely it for me. Um, yeah. 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 Consistency is big as far as like, I don't know, Vig and like the Princeton guys, it's not like we have one big workout that we all get super fired up about. I think it's just like when you turn out the weeks, you know, it just builds on top of each other. And then all of a sudden you know, you start the season slow but by the end, by conference, especially in indoors here, you realize you're ready to go. So it's probably just like a, a slow build up for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of agree with that. Um, I guess like for me, what's worked in the past is just like consistency. Unfortunately, I kind of like missed um, like the whole fall of training just due to like um, like a glute problem. But then I don't know, I kind of, I like struggled in and out until like January. And then like, I just put like six really like good consistent weeks where like each workout was like slightly better than the next and then like was able to turn around for indoors. Yeah, for sure. 
And also, I guess I would say like uh, it's it's nice having guys like Lundy and stuff who are like <laughs> just destroying you on every workout. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you guys seem to have a pretty good squad, especially with all the guys you brought over at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was a crew. Yeah. I mean, if you guys ever want to come back over, we do have a couple of houses around Sydney. Dude, we're trying to make it out for sure. Maybe every, every 10 years for New Year's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was chatting to... Um, uh, one of the guys at our like state governing body, Matt Whitbread, and he said hopefully they're going to try get some races going um, as soon as the rules start to loosen up a bit. So, I mean, there could definitely be an opportunity if you guys did want to make the trip. See what's yeah. I guess it'd be tough though. Like, yeah, I could run a fast time or whatever, but like they took away like the Olympic qualifying period, which kind of sucks. So it's like yeah, there's. Yeah, yeah. There's no point, like, real. I mean, like, it'd be good to like run a good time, but um, yeah. like, if I raced a really fast steeple, it just it'd be like, oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you'd know you could do it, but like, it'd be uh, better to just run in the period. Yeah, and uh, it's it's definitely not a long time. Yeah, I think uh, it's gonna be like obviously very tempting for a lot of people as well to just like race as much as they can when yeah. all this is over and i feel like people are just gonna go week on week on week like racing because they've just missed out on months and months of racing yeah. it's like it's like when you come back from an injury and you just want to race and you just yeah. want to like like prove yourself or whatever but like right now like i guess like you still have to be conscious of the fact that like i don't know how long it would have been but like it'll probably be months before yeah. anyone raced so i mean regardless of a time trial or anything you do like a solo time trial and then like nothing beats like racing against people like it's different yeah. so i definitely think people need to, will need to be conscious of that um when when the time comes that we actually get to race again yeah do you think that will be the ncaa season do you reckon autumn will be back on cross yeah I think so. I mean, like, yeah, I, I think so. Like, I mean, the peak is meant to be reached in the US in the next few weeks, right? I mean, yeah. I know no one actually really knows, but for now, I, I no one's told me otherwise. I have to treat it like cross country still going on. Like, yeah. you need to have that light at the tunnel um, yeah. until they tell you otherwise, you know? Um, that's the only thing we can train for, really, right now. So, yeah, definitely aim to. Do well across. <clears throat> yeah. I had a couple of questions which I thought I'd, I'd uh, rip through. So, um, best running memory for you guys, what would that be? Um, if I had to say, okay. like, <laughs> this is a tough one. There's there's a lot of good ones. I would I would say that definitely my junior year so last year winning winning the heps uh as a cross-country team like a, our conference meet and then the regional like we kind of just rolled through and it it seemed like we were pretty we felt pretty unstoppable i think we had some really low sticks and just going i think we went two four six eight five six five six twelve thirteen something uh, like that. two four five six thirteen yeah. yeah so that was that was a ton of fun and it was like a race on our home course and it was just there's so many pictures of us like throughout the whole race where we had like one through seven like up at the front and it, it was like yeah of course we were gonna win you know what I mean and then you know I had a similar case at the regional meet and we, we had like obviously high spirits going into nationals but it was just like a cool like month period where we all knew we were like super fit and it was just like practice every day was so much fun because we knew like how good we were you know about that yeah, I, I kind of agree, like, as a team memory, that's for sure, like, my favorite, I would say. Um, as an individual, I guess, like, regionals last year outdoor and steeples was just, like, such a big race for me and, like, kind of, like, um, I don't know, like, I guess my, like, first, like, when people really started to notice me as a runner and so, like, I guess individually that was big, but, like, I think the team was just, like, so much more significant, yeah. You sure? Um... <laughs> Yeah, I've had I've had a lot of like like good memories. I've been at Iona for five years, so like there's been tons of good times. I obviously went through like a long time where I wasn't running, 
yeah. so like i want to say like one of those first like maybe that first race back uh ran at pen around pen relays around the 5k like this was last april i guess yeah uh, i ran 15 flat for the 5k and i've never been so happy with the race like yeah. ever i so just like i hadn't i hadn't run i hadn't raced in three years properly um so i had like finally proved even though i hadn't run quick at all i'd finally proven to myself that like i was able to get back out there and to compete yeah. um and then so that's probably on an individual level like at least at least recently that's probably one of the best memories and then team wise i think pre nats this year was really good for us like and I'm, I'm, I'm saying team wise like i didn't run particularly well that day either but like i think there was just a vibe like yeah. in our team then that like i mean you felt it as well ed like i know again you weren't overly satisfied with that day either but like we came third as a team and like we proved to a lot of people that like we were we were going to be better than what people thought this year um so yeah that was definitely like a good feeling after after pre nats <laughs> nice background <laughs> uh, yeah what about you ed uh i mean yeah i reckon that trip was pretty sick i think that was my first like experience as a um as a like a team member or something because you don't really get that in australia you don't get that team aspect so I did really like pro nats, even though after nationals, Terre Haute would probably be my least favorite city on earth. <laughs> I'd also I'd also take it back a few years, and I'd also say GPS cross countries. I mean, racing trippers every weekend for six years or something. Those were the yeah. good old days, and I'd I'd do anything to get back to them as well. They were pretty good. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, superstitions? Any pre-race things have to be right for you guys? Um, for me, I have this like little magnet thing I always take with me. It's like a little foot that like, yeah. my great army gave me like years ago. I always bring that to the races with me. Um, and then for some reason over the last season, I've run in these like shitty pair of socks. I actually saw them. Like, they've got like, I, were you there at the temple the other day? I had like the worst blister because like there's like holes in the back of them. Like they're just the worst socks. And I just did all my races in them this indoor season for some reason. And like, I mean, it, it worked. I ran PBs, but like yeah. still, like it just, I don't know why. I, I felt like I needed to race in them. Me they were like, maybe my. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were good luck. I don't know. I'm going to have to throw them out though, so. Yeah, I guess a, a superstition for me is like, I'm not really a superstition, but I never race in socks. Um, and then I always go like bare feet, cross or indoor or outdoor. And then for championship season, I always shave the legs. Yeah. Um, that's a, you know, classic. But like just to get into that championship mindset, you know. For sure. Up a bit. Yeah, I agree. Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I think I got Trippis uh, onto that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I used to shave the legs a little bit in high school along with, like, Ed and um, Josh and stuff. But, like, definitely started doing it for championship season. Definitely agree with, like, the no socks thing, especially for steeplechase. You don't want to mess with socks. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, not really any other superstitions. Yeah. How about you, Max? I don't know, yeah. I reckon the shave leg thing is just, like, like the championship. You just, like, feel like it just makes you a bit faster. Yeah. Like, just gets oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, that's pretty much, like, the main thing I reckon for most runners. <laughs> I mean, getting that night's sleep with the shaved legs the night before is pretty, pretty key too. Oh, for sure. My better feeling. <laughs> um, what about, so I saw this tweet the other day. And I don't know, Jack, Jack, you're just frozen for a sec. Um, I saw this tweet the other day. And it was, from <laughs> and it was about, he said that not checking your GPS split when your watch beeps. Uh, is the biggest flex in running. I was just wondering if you guys could come up with anything more. Because we were discussing this on the run and we were saying talking in races or putting your whole team in the top five crossing the finish line at the same time. And work. in training. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, working out maybe. You guys yeah. anything else? That's a pretty good list. I think, yeah, working out in trainers is, like, a big flex, um, especially when, like, everyone else is wearing, like, flats or spikes. But, yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. Uh, one one thing I can, like, think of 
I guess this doesn't really happen too often, but say if like we're doing a four mile tempo on the track and like we're a little bit slower than pace and for like no whatever reason, we had a couple of guys who like wanted to hit like say if it's 20 minutes for four miles right on the dot and we come through and like 15, 15 for three miles, they, instead of just like, you know, you're, they're running 505 pace, they go right to 445 for that last mile just to like make sure they hit it exactly right, you know. Yeah. Not really necessary, but like a big surge just to like say that they could hit it right on the dot. Right, that's pretty, that's pretty damn good. That's a, that's a little bit of a flex. <laughs> but, yeah. What about you, Jack, the king of, the king of. I also feel like. Uh, no, I'm not the king, but I was going to say uh, a definite flex, like this would be like somewhat aimed at O'Leary here is like yeah. when you just like say I'm going to run 30 flat 30.0 like for the for the for this 200 meter rack let's say and like you hit it on the nail like which he's really good at doing like he, he he's got like a very good like sense of speed um like without checking his watch even um I feel like it yeah it's a flex like hitting splits without without your watch or, or yeah. anything like that you know and you've got like guys around you and you're kind of like you're leading and you're like what was that and they tell you and it was like spot on like yeah. that's definitely a flex I agree. Even though I don't know why you'd want to do it. Even pacing evenly, because I, I know, like, when we were doing those quick Ks the other week, get, always get out of it too quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're at final question. Uh, where do you hope to see you guys in 12 months? Uh, I mean, like, I def definitely want to be... Yeah, you go. You go. Oh, no, I was going to say, uh, with no COVID, you go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good at that. <laughs> um, but, I mean, like, I definitely want to be at the Olympics. Um, I think I got, like, 13, 14 seconds to take off for the Olympic qualifier. And, like, I, I now with, like, this, especially with this break, like, I d genuinely believe I can get it. And so, like, that's kind of what I want to do. You sure? All right, you, Connor. Um, I guess in a similar vein, I want to be, uh, you know, I think making the Olympics would be pretty hard, but, uh, you know, at least like getting a, a trials qualifier for the 5k would be like my big dream and, and just being competitive in the NCAA, you know, maybe go for first team, uh, you know, all American in the track. So, you yeah. know, just running healthy, you know, getting back to doing that and, uh, maybe make the Olympic trials and, be competitive in that yeah anything more than the COVID uh no I, I was just joking about that yeah but no I think like I mean what the boys have said is like obviously huge dreams like I'd love to like make NCAAs um for me I've like never been able to make a regionals because I've never really run an outdoor season before yeah um so I guess 12 months from now we'd be looking at like the outdoor season so like I'd definitely be looking to like make NCAAs um and just like, um, just like, just be a better athlete. Like I think, like for me, I've, and I kept saying it, but like I had so much time off that, like now, I don't want to just be like running uh, well for someone who's been injured. Like I want to actually just run well, like full stop, and like, be, yeah. like just be good as it is, um, which I think is an attainable goal. Um, so yeah, yeah, and you guys. Um, big, so to with, the, with all the rulings about granting another year of eligibility, you guys all, all going to be staying around for another 12 months at college? Oh, yeah. I, got a, I can't do it at Princeton, but I'm going to uh, UNC to finish up my eligibility. So I got an indoor and an outdoor. And I actually, I could get a, a six-year, I think, because I got hurt at the end of indoor. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I only have a one-year master's, so maybe I'll uh, – shoot up to back to New Rochelle for that six year at Iona. Who knows? Well, I'll probably... Yeah, why, aren't you, why aren't you coming for the fifth year? What's this all about? Uh, dude, you know what? You guys should have reached out sooner. I should have, or I should have reached out to your guys' coach sooner. <laughs> yeah, my fault, guys. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's, hey, it's, it's never too late. All right? It's April. That is, that is true. You know, I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe if... Maybe if, like you know, Brandon really convinces me or something. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, 
yeah, I think I'm sticking around for another year as well. I have a sixth year. Um, I'm still finalising that stuff. Might be doing some sports communication stuff with you, Ed. Yeah. Never know. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I have. I think I have every. What do you say? I said we'll probably be doing the same subjects to the next panel, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I think I don't know whether I have indoors. That's like one thing I have to check because. Unfortunately, I've thrown the shot put over the years probably more times than I've raced. Um, and when I throw the shot, like obviously the first year I redshirted, the second year it's like, well, you've got five years, you may as well shot put. Like it's, we need to get people for compliance, um, which sucks for Iona. But um, yeah, so I hope that I can maybe like claim one of those years back that I threw the shot put and just say, look, I was injured. Like I, I don't actually throw the shot put, but yeah. we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right how good well thanks for being part of episode three guys hope you all stay safe cheers yeah, for having us have... mate look yeah. make sure you guys look after north yeah, out of <laughs> yeah we'll do Connor, i'll get in touch with you about um running and stuff mate when i'm back yeah for sure i'll be around hopefully there'll be uh hopefully there'll be four four Ioni guys in this in this group chat in next year <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, thanks. All right, Ed. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Yeah.